and welcome. We are team Micro Heroes from SJKT Bukit Martajang. Today, we are excited to present our project, Microorganism, our invisible helpers. Microorganisms are tiny living things that are around us in the air, water, salt and even our bodies. We can't see them with our eyes, but they play a huge role in food, health and environment. Some microorganisms are helpful while others can be harmful. In this video, we will explain what microorganisms are, how they help us in daily life and medicine, how we can protect ourselves from harmful and how they connect to real global challenges. Microorganisms or microbes include bacteria, fungi, protozoa and virus. They exit in soil, oceans, plants and even inside our body. Bacteria help digest food and break down waste. Fungi like yeast used to make bread and medicine. Protozoa are tiny one-celled organisms, some of which clean water. Virus is very small particular. Some cause illness, but others used to make vaccine. These microbes are part of natural balance. Without them, we couldn't able to grow crops, clean waste, or even survive. Microorganisms help us every day in food, farming, and medicine. In food production, microbes are used as fermentation to make cheese, pickles, yogurt, and more. Without them, we wouldn't have any food that we enjoy. In farming, soil bacteria break down that plant and animals, releasing nutrients and add nutrition to the soil, helps crops grow. This means farmers no need to use as many chemicals. In medicine, this is where microorganisms really shine. There are six major ways microbes treat disease. First, antibiotic from microbes. Over 70% antibiotic came from microorganisms like fungi and bacteria. The first antibiotic paniclean came from fungus. Today, more than 30 billion antibiotics used every year around the world to treat infection. Is vaccine made of microbes? Yes! Scientists use virus and bacteria to create vaccine. In COVID-19 pandemic, more than 13 billion vaccines were given, most based on microbial technology. Microbes are also used in vaccine from measles, polio and tuberculosis. Probiotic, the good bacteria. Probiotic like Lactobacillus help us digestion and prevent harmful microbes from growing in our gut. The global probiotic industry is worth $60 billion. Cancer treatment with engineer microbes. Some bacteria and virus now being used in cancer therapy. For example, salmonella bacteria have been modified to shrink tumors. Insulin from bacteria. People with diabetes use insulin to stay healthy. Over 50 million people now rely on insulin made by genetically engineered bacteria. Fighting drying resistant bacteria. Microbial research is helping scientists find new medicine to fight antibiotic resistance. Let's understand how microorganisms recycle life through a natural cycle. Let's understand how microorganisms recycle life through a natural cycle. Microorganisms in the soil break down waste and dead materials. This turns into nutrients, which plants use to grow. We eat the plants, and the waste returns to the environment. 
microbes break it down again, and the cycle repeats. This process is essential for farming and reduces waste naturally. Well, many microbes help us, but some microbes harm. Bacteria and viruses cause can flu, stomach infections, and other diseases. Microbes also can spoil food and cause food poisoning. How to stay safe? Wash and before eating and after eating. Keep the food clean and refrigerated. Cook the food well to kill harmful microbes. How to Antimicrobial resistance is a big challenge. When people overuse antibiotics, bacteria become resistant and infection get harder to treat. In 2019, 1.27 million people died from drug-resistant infection. If we don't act, it could reach 10 million deaths per year by 2050. Microorganisms help us achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. SDG 3 is Good Health and AMP Well-Being. Microbes are used to make vaccines, antibiotics, and probiotics. They fight disease and save lives. SDG 13 is Climate Action. Microorganisms help reduce methane gas by breaking down waste. Composting with microbes can cut organic waste by 50%. SDG 2 is Zero Hunger. Soil microbes make land more fertile and support food production, especially in poor communities. Do you know? One gram of soil contains over 1 billion microbes. These tiny helpers play a big role in solving world problems. So to conflict, microorganisms are tiny, but their impact is massive. They help us eat better, grow healthier food, clean planet, and fight lay disease. They are used in cancer treatment, vaccine de development, and environment protection. But we use them wisely from protect ourselves harmful ones. We are team